We're sitting in the APMA Connected Vehicle Demonstration Project. The whole concept here is to be able to take individual technologies and tie all of those technologies into a working demonstration vehicle. All of this technology is actually tied in to the actual electrical system and CAN bus architecture of the vehicle. It's not computers working in the back. Everything is tied in and is actually functional as part of this vehicle. We've replaced the center graphics so with a customized screen. We've replaced the, the center stack screen with a new touch controlled screen and a new cowl cover to make it look like a production vehicle. But this is a Lexus RX 350 all of the technology added on top of and working in conjunction with the vehicle's electronic uh, architectural system. What we'd like to demonstrate very specifically is the Alkalock system that provides an additional security uh, for vehicle operation. You see we have the Alkalock uh, set up as an app on the screen and when we touch it the first thing we're going to do is going to scan the uh, fingerprint to let us know we need to start blowing. It is indicated that we're authorized to start and we would be able to start the engine and as you would see here if we were in actual operation but all of the vehicle diagnostics come to life as if the vehicle has actually started uh, and would then be operational. This could be tied in at the OEM's discretion so that when instead of start engine the moment you finish that process the vehicle actually automatically started and went through that. The idea of the finger scan is that you would put in the fingers of all of the family members, uh, husband, wife and children that are of driving age and so it automatically is recognizing you and scanning right off. In this case, uh, in this particular application, the breath test was not required and right away we'd be able to go ahead and start the engine and once again see that the vehicle would go into full operational mode. Uh, with everything uh, functioning. Just to see if we can get a different uh, example here when we scan uh, and we start blowing here. In this case access is denied because it was verified that my blood alcohol level exceeded the safety limit and therefore the vehicle cannot start and we are in a secure environment where nothing is uh, being able to go until somebody else goes through the process with the, the correlating to their fingerprint uh, and utilizing the system in order for the vehicle to be able to start. So we have the Alkalog system here. These are the people that can be notified uh, anytime that there's a failed alcohol test. So currently it's going to that phone number and okay. it can give you a text message with the alcohol level through the connected vehicle information mm -hmm. system to somebody's smartphone. Okay. This is where we set up the different users. Okay. So they can have different alcohol thresholds okay. and based on their um, user identification, they may or may not need to use the device. So if there's somebody in the family like Betty who doesn't drink alcohol, she can set up the system so that she doesn't have to do an alcohol test. Whereas the son may have a very low alcohol level and the father may choose to have a slightly elevated alcohol level but still below the legal limit. Okay. Okay. And then here in this screen here we have the actual alcohol um, levels that uh, occurred with the different drivers so you can see what their alcohol level is and this information is not only going to be here in this system but it's also going to be available on your app so you can go into your virtual mechanic on your uh, mobile app and be able to look at the history okay and in addition to that you'll be able from the mobile app if you are the uh, authorized administrator of the vehicle then you can also disable the Alkalog system temporarily for um, mechanics or valets to be able to use the vehicle and park it and move the vehicle around. It gives a lot of flexibility for the person who's buying the vehicle because oftentimes the owner may not necessarily choose to be the one that's using the device all the time, right. but certainly there might be other family members that you may wish to have that. We believe that overall the Alkalock system represents a significant safety feature and enhanced safety uh, in the operation of a vehicle even when it's somebody driving the vehicle, your vehicle, uh, or your children, uh, anybody utilizing the vehicle, we've significantly increased 
the known uh, safety factors for the operation of the vehicle.